We'll have those stories in just a moment, but first, our top story tonight. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Bennett. And I'm Don Jorgensen. A Watertown murder case is now in the hands of the jury. The prosecutors and defense lawyers wrapped up their closing arguments this afternoon at the Coddington County Courthouse. Jeremiah Peacemaker is accused of killing a woman and cutting off her head. Catalan's Tom Hansen was in the courtroom and brings us the latest. A caseworker for the Human Service Agency discovered the decapitated body of Kendra Owen in her apartment on September 2nd of 2020. Witnesses and surveillance video led police to Jeremiah Peacemaker. He was at a bar with Owen the night she was reportedly killed and later went with her to her apartment, but says he only stayed for 20 minutes. Attorney General Marty Jackley took the lead in prosecuting this case. He says he wanted the jury to focus on the science. This jury had an opportunity to hear from forensic pathologists from both sides regarding autopsies, from fingerprint experts from both sides, as well as blood and DNA experts from both sides. And so I tried to utilize what the witnesses said with the evidence and what it showed. In closing arguments, the defense lawyers told the jury that a key piece of the prosecution's case, a bloody thumbprint on a tube of toothpaste, wasn't proven to be blood. They also said investigators dropped the ball on investigating other possible suspects. Jackley says because of the gruesome nature of what happened inside Owen's apartment, this has been a tough case for everyone involved. You know, I think the nature of the difficulties of this case was shown by one of the jurors needing to take a break uh, during the, the closing argument. So this has been a, a challenging case from a standpoint of some of the photographs, some of the autopsy information. So I think all lawyers involved appreciate the jury's attentiveness and the, and the work that they're now engaged in. The jury could acquit Peacemaker or find him guilty of manslaughter, second degree murder or first degree murder. The latter could include the death penalty. In Watertown, Tom Hansen, Kelloland News. A 14 jurors sat through the case for more than a week. Two of them were alternates and were dismissed shortly before the jury went into deliberations this afternoon.